Hi there, my name is Michael Giannotti and I am a Principal Technology Specialist for the Microsoft Corporation working in Microsoft's Healthcare and Life Sciences Group. Today I'm here to talk to you about something I got hammered with a lot of people DMing me after I posted a view of Outlook, Outlook running in the left hand rail of my Teams instance so I could get my email without ever leaving Teams. Just click on the the icon and be able to get there. Um, so I'm going to show you what I did in a moment, but a couple of things. Number one, this is roll your own at your own risk, right? So there's no guarantees here. There may be security and permissioning things that are enabled, not enabled in your environment. You may not be able to access the developer portal. There's a whole range of things, but I'm going to show you both the option that I did as well as a suggestion somebody had, um, which it works, but you lose a lot of a lot more real estate, so wasn't an approach I wanted to take, but I'll show you that, and that's the add a tab view. Um, but the whole premise is we're gonna take Outlook Web Access and add that to the left-hand rail. So here you can see we're looking at Teams and my this view of the screen you're seeing. It's over here, so if you see me looking there, that's what I'm looking at. And uh, we wanna add Outlook here, so I can just simply click just as easily as I can go from Viva Connections, to Viva Learning, to Chat, to Teams, etc. We want to have an access view there. So to do that, we're going to start off. And again, remember, this is roll your own. It's on your, you know, you may not be able to. IT may not have this enabled or um, they may not want you to. Or maybe they want to do it centrally and do it. But again, there's no guarantees that this will work forever. So I'm not your support mechanism. I want to throw that out there. This is simply for fun and information because a lot of people bugged me about it. So what I'm going to do is select developer portal. That's where we make the apps. That's where the sauce is all brewed. So we're going to go ahead. We're here in the developer portal and we're going to select apps. Again, if developer portal is not available for you, you can't do it. I'm about to do. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and here in apps, we want to create a new app. So let's go ahead and say app. We're going to call this Outlook. And I'm going to say add. Failed to create app. What? Create your first app. Mail, because I did it in here earlier. Maybe it's causing a conflict. There we go. So we'll call it mail. You've got mail. So I could, you notice it already has a little icon. It's pulling the developer icon, but we're going to start off here. We have some basic information. So here is this short name that's going to appear and um, we can leave that. We'll leave it mail, uh, full name. I'll call it Outlook Web Access. There is an app ID. We're going to come back. Actually, let's grab that right now. Let's copy and just to make sure I have it all. Well, we already got it. So we're going to come on down here then to application ID. And this is what happened to me last time. So let's copy it this way. Control C. I don't know if that's something because we're doing this through the browser. There we go. So we put that app ID that was generated in here into application ID. Um, next up, as we come on down, description, a high level uh, description. This is Outlook Web Access. So I'll put OA. And then in here, the long one, I'll say Outlook. We'll spell it out <laughs> Web Access in Teams. There we go. We're version 1.0. Developer is me. Beautiful. Website that we can validate against. So I'm going to give the same one. I'm looking over here to this. This one I uh, control C. This is the actual site that I use for our blog, Healthcare and Life Sciences blog. So we'll say that's our public one. Then it wants the app URLs, right? And this is, uh, first of all, is the privacy policy. So we'll go ahead and select that. And we'll select this one for terms of use. I'm just using the generic Microsoft ones. You'll want to use your company's one. So you'd have your company URL up here. You would then have, you know, your 
co the company ones for privacy in terms of use. There's our ID network. We can leave blank. I'm going to click save. Very good. And then we're going to move on. So from here, we're going to say app features. So we're going to select that. I don't need that. We're going to create a personal app. And again, we are going to call this particular one um, add to your personal tab. We're going to call this Outlook. We've got an ID here. Content URL. That's the web address to here. Now, the beautiful thing is it's not personalized. It's a generic one based on your login. So we're going to go ahead here and we grab that. We're going to put that in here. There we go. Website URL, same. Confirm. And save. Uh, the branding, I didn't do the branding. So I could elect to just keep these ones right here. I mean, they look nice. Uh, but if you have a mail icon or you want to put the Outlook one, I'm going to come over here, say upload an image. And if I come on over to pictures and we go to Outlook, I made a folder. Here is one that's 192 by 192 with transparent background. We're going to select that for this one. Click save. Over here for this one, upload an image. I left it colored, but it's the smaller 32 by 32. Select save. Then we can pick an accent color. So I'm going to go ahead here and we'll pick, there we go, that color blue. Beautiful. So now we're cooking, moving along. App features, we already did permissions. So there's two here that I want to select and two only. Use camera, uh, microphone and speakers, right, because it's email. Then also send user notifications. Single sign-on, we don't worry about languages. If we had additionals, we could put those there. And then domains. So I already have this one here. And we're done. So what we'll do at this point is we're going to select Publish. We're going to download the app package. Now, I already did that. So I can come here very easily now. And we're going to now go to, once you've downloaded it to your uh, desktop, we're going to come on over here to Apps. We're going to say that we want to click manage your apps and we want to upload an app. And so let's go ahead and say that catalog. I'm going to go to the desktop. There it is. And yep, I already had uploaded it. Okay. Boom. And it says you don't have permissions to remove this. Oh, well, there you go. So there's my app. It's already set here. That's cool. What did I do? I click communities. Um, we could search on it real quick. Outlook. OA, there it is. So we've gone ahead, uploaded this particular app. I've done it twice now. So it's now showing twice. And hopefully I'm grabbing the right version. There we go. And so now I can add it. So once it's in here, you know, I can do things like pin it to the rail, right? So there it is. Let's go ahead and say, I want to pin, you know, and then when I once it's pinned, I can move it around if I have permissions. But notice now all the real estate that I have here. And it's full fidelity. So it's very easy to do it personally. Your IT can take that app create the same thing and publish it for everybody and pin it to the rail if they wanted. I'm not saying to do it. There's pros and cons, right? So once you're in here and you've done that, you know, like, look, I go to my calendar and it keeps dropping off over here. Um, you know, but uh, I did pin it. Yeah, I did. So it's just not giving me the real estate in this particular one. But, you know, then I have to toggle back and forth and it reopens, closes, reopens, closes. But it is for those who are get, or have a very restricted desktop. It does provide a nice little option around that. Now, one other person had suggested to me.
that you do it as a tab like this, right? So all I did here, well, let's go ahead and just remove this. Come on. Ah. And mail, ah, I can't get the remove. We're gonna go to another place and add it. Here we go, digital assets. My browser and everything with everything running is giving me some fits. Um, to add this as a tab, it's really straightforward. You come in to add a tab, you select website, give it a name, Outlook, whatever you wanna call it, right? Then it asks for this URL from right here, copy, and we're just gonna drop that in. This one's really easy, right? I didn't need to do anything but add a tab. And then it's available to me. So within my team, my primary team, it's here. But I do lose all this real estate here, right? It's a lot more than just this slim uh, little rail here. Now I'm losing this and the top part here. So it's just further compressing. But it's fully functional again. Right, there we go. Your browser supposed sitting Outlook on the web is default email. I don't care, I'll just close that. But I have all that here and here we are in my demo environment. I can compose email, right, new, just like we would expect. Do all the things I might wanna do, insert, browse, add attachments, it's all there. So Outlook in Teams is achievable. It's not officially supported. Microsoft, we view that as a separate Workstream. I did this here because customers have asked me repeatedly. Thought it'd be cool just to drop it in my own. So when they ask, I'll say, yeah, you could see what I did. This is the basic process. If you want to go on your own, go ahead. But that's it. It's simple. There's not, this isn't rocket science. Go in, use the developer portal, get the web address for your Outlook email, Know your company's uh, website, public site, have your policy in terms of use, uh, you know, uh, links for that ready. Um, and that's really all you need. And, you you know, you just quick plug that in and some icons, right? 192 by 192 and a 32 by 32 with transparencies on both of those. I did pink PNG files and it was simple, easy peasy. And you can add mail. So that's it. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you found it fun. Remember, this is not a supported solution. This is have fun. You may They may have these things turned off internally for you, so you may not be able to do it anyways. Um, but if it is, you know, it's a quick and simple way to go in and add this. So with that, this is Mike Giannotti here, bidding you have a great day. Take care as always. Remember, Teams, it's not just a, cl a client on your computer. It's an adventure, or it's actually the single pane of glass to get work done. Have a great day.